Hi there, this is Jeff. I'm one of the account managers at QBuild Software. At QBuild, we've been doing CAD ERP integration for over 10 years now. CADLink is a gold certified partner with uh, SOLIDWORKS as well as certified for Microsoft Dynamics. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use CADLink to integrate build materials or BOM data to Dynamics Nav. This will ultimately save time from manual data entry into NAV, as well as eliminating potential bomb mistakes, leading to costly and unnecessary errors. To begin using CADLink, you just need to simply have the CAD model open in SOLIDWORKS, like I do here. Let's say I'm an engineer and I just finished making some changes to this bill of materials. There were some new parts that I drew and I gave part numbers to. Other parts had their description changed, and some other parts uh, went through a quantity change. Some parts were removed, other parts were added. Now, in order for Dynamics Nav and the rest of the users in that environment to have this latest and greatest data, we're going to use CADLink to synchronize the bill of materials. Now, typically, we would click on the toolbar at the top here, and we'd have our software built right in as an add-in, so you can launch it straight out of SOLIDWORKS. In today's demo environment, I'm just going to use my little external launcher here. What CADLINK is doing now is that it's connecting to NAV and comparing the build materials data from SOLIDWORKS to what's currently in NAV. So it's comparing things like part number, description, quantity, unit or measure. And it's going to load an interface for us to review the build materials with colored highlighting so we can quickly and easily understand the differences in the two bill materials. So first we have these white line items here. White line items are parts or assemblies in the BOM that already exist in NAV. Components that have already been defined by another user in NAV or have been pushed in with CADLINK already, maybe a part that I'm just featuring on this bill materials. So white lines are components that already exist in both NAV and in SOLIDWORKS. The green lines are new parts in CAD that do not exist in NAV yet. So what's CADLINK going to do is that when the save button is pressed, it will create each one of these components in NAV using data coming directly from my SOLIDWORKS custom or configuration specific properties. On top of that, CADLINK will arrange the parent-child relationships based on the model structure in SOLIDWORKS. The yellow fields represent field level discrepancies. So let's take this highlighted description as an example here. When Catlin compared the description of this existing BOM and NAV to the description in SOLIDWORKS, it noticed that they do not match. I can right click on this field and I can see what the discrepancy in the descriptions are in SOLIDWORKS and NAV. In this case here, the description for CAD has used the shorthand for the word assembly. Whereas in the ERP, in NAV, the word assembly is fully spelled out. From here, I can pick which one I'd like to keep. If the SOLIDWORKS description is correct, I can click on that. This updates the field here, and when I save, this will update the description in my NAV record. On the other hand, if I picked the NAV description, when I save, this will write back to my SOLIDWORKS model. If neither of these descriptions are correct, I can click on this field and write a brand new description. And now this description will push bidirectionally. It will update both my CAD model as well as my NAV description. Gray represents a part that was on this model, but was perhaps removed or replaced by a different part. But since this has not been updated in NAV yet, these components are still on my NAV bill materials. So for gray rows, CADLINK will remove the component from the bill materials in NAV so that the two bombs will be back in sync. So hopefully with a quick glance, you're now able to tell from here exactly what new parts CADLINK will create, which fields will have their data altered, which NAV components will be removed from the bomb. If I hover over the Save button right now in the top left-hand corner, you can see that uh, it's disabled. I don't get any feedback from hovering over this button like I do with the Refresh button here. If I head into the Catlink Messages tab, I can see why.
The save button is disabled because I have this validation error for us to double check. It's telling me here that I have a part in the bill of materials where the description cannot be null or empty. I wanted to highlight this because Catlink validates the data to make sure it's complete and that all the fields are filled out before it attempts to save into nav. So in this case here, perhaps I forgot to enter a description for this component. But once I do, the save button is enabled and when I hover over it, you can see there's feedback showing me that this bill of materials is now safe to save into Dynamics Nav. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. I look forward to being able to provide a full-length presentation or answer any of your questions over a phone call or an email.